Cool. Welcome, guys. We are welcome, live. Welcome. Welcome to the business show. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Welcome to the business show. If this is the first time that you're joining in, just pop there in the comments. My first time joining our business show. To everyone else, everyone that's part of our mastermind group and everyone else, welcome back. We have a jam back show. Welcome. Okay. Um, so really excited to get it going and get everyone on. And we are announcing our five finalists and you get to vote. So stay tuned for that as well. And then our giant for today, which we are really excited about. So just welcome everyone to the business show. And um, Flippy, Yera, Mark, Niku, Rhino, everyone. How's it, uh, everybody? Barbara. The first time joining the business show. To everyone else, welcome back. Um, just a quick one as well. If you want to view any of our previous business shows, we have uploaded it to our website, entrepreneurhq.ca.za, and you'll see business show at the top. Please share it. Please, um, yeah, just get the word out so that we can grow this business show and that we can get more and more people involved. So, but thanks for everyone that's joining us and everyone that um, that supports us and that goes through the time and effort to join our business show. We try and make it as interactive and as, as impactful as possible. So just welcome, everyone. Yeah, welcome, everyone. So I've popped the link to the business show in the comment box. And yeah, Eugene, uh, for everyone that's new to the show, tell them a bit about uh, who's Entrepreneur HQ. Entrepreneur HQ. <laughs> <laughs> so Entrepreneur HQ is a passion business. It's mine, Vili's passion business, and it ties in nicely with today's subject. Today's subject is uh, building a business on your passion. So how to create a profit on your passion. And um, so Entrepreneur HQ is myself and Vili's passion project. We've been entrepreneurs in other businesses, and we still run other businesses. My main business is Time IT Technologies, which is an IT sport company, and Valley is Valley Smart, which is an accounting firm. And we met a couple of years back and realized that our passion is entrepreneurship, teaching and learning. So one of the things that we shared on our mastermind WhatsApp group, you guys would remember, is the uh, John D. Martini value test. If you haven't done it yet, go and do it. Really cool to see what your values are. Myself and Willie's highest values were learning and teaching and entrepreneurship. And we decided, how do we get this information, like the stuff we build websites and e-commerce sites, and uh, Willie does a lot of the software integration in the back end, especially with the payments, links, and stuff. And um, how do we get this across to everyone out there can't afford to pay someone 10 or 20 or 30,000 Rand to do their marketing for them, to do their e-commerce, to do all this stuff? How do we get this information out to them? And that's when we started Entrepreneur HQ. We created a mastermind group with amazing guys in it. So I see Sonia and Joe and everyone's on as well. So Sonia is part of the mastermind group, one of the finalists as well. Um, yeah. and just a really cool group of people where we connect, share information, and help each other to grow and learn. And then obviously we've built all our courses about building e-commerce stores, how to market your business on Facebook and all that sort of stuff. It's really a passion business. We don't make any money out of it. This, at this yeah. point, it costs us money to run this business. Yeah, um, we, we pay to work here. Yeah. In time, hopefully, we'll get to a point. Once it grows big enough, we'll get to a point where we can start making a profit and then start running seminars and stuff once um, COVID is over. Soon. Oh. So, uh, so let's get into it. Start with um, so yeah, yeah. guys, um, bef before we jump into the today's giants, um, you know, um, we just mentioned this is our passion business. So we just want to thank our sponsors and our partners, especially Ebus Radio and uh, everyone else has sponsored the previous show. So, um, you know, the purpose for us is to um, accumulate knowledge and share it with the uh, communities out there um, to, to make sure that everyone succeeds in business. And we can't do this um, by ourselves. Um, we are funding it um, by ourselves. If anyone does really want to get involved, just uh, get in contact with either myself or Eugene. But yeah, so without um, sponsors and partners, um, you know, we won't be able to, to spread the word. So yeah, thank you very much for that. And um, yeah, today we've got a super lineup. Um, Before we're gonna... we get to that, um, what we thought about as well is how do we get exposure to 
the guys that's on the business show that attends the business show. One of the things is if you want us to do product reviews or so I can't remember who it was spoke to us about green screens. Um, so there's a lot of interest in giving us products. We weren't really interested in that. But if you have a product that you would like us to showcase on the business show and just show other entrepreneurs and just show a bit about your business and just a bit of exposure as well. Um, but otherwise, very, very cool lineup. So, Vili, do you want to? Yeah, cool. So before we jump into the next uh, uh, entrepreneur, um, you know, uh, a special wel welcome to our five finalists, um, Anke, Reina, Mike, Sonia and Betty. Um, you guys have entered into our 12-month uh, uh, coaching competition where we will be helping you guys to scale your businesses. So um, for everyone that sticks until the, the end of the show, please stay. Uh, we're going to pop up a a poll where you guys will actually be able to uh, look at the videos that they've sent us and then you guys can vote who will be the two finalists going uh, up to the final. And yeah, super excited about that. And then Eugene um, Mara, um, passion, she's built a business around passion. Please introduce her and let's get on with the show. And, and guys, um, yeah, have a listen to her. Um, it's everyone's um, we are living our dream by having a business. We're not making any money yet, but you know, um, if you can um, live out that passion and build a business around that, that's that's super awesome. And I think you'll have that the, the fulfillment that you'll have um, from doing that would be, you know, just the next level up from just starting a normal business. So, Eugene, let's. Uh, there's, I mean, there's a lot of people that say it. We've heard the saying quite a few times before. Is if you if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And so many of us stuck in our businesses where we start a business because that was our profession. So my profession was IT, so I started an IT business. Um, Billy was an accountant, is an accountant, and he started an accounting business. And most of us start businesses out of what our previous occupation was. And we end up resenting the business because it's not really what we want to do. It's not our passion. The second problem is who actually knows what their passion is? So if you talk to people, you ask them, what's your dream? If money wasn't an object, what would you do? And most people don't know. I mean, really, me and you had this discussion um, internally between us. It's like, dude, if money wasn't a problem, what would you do? What's the thing that you would do? Exactly. So it's so important to... Discover what your passion is. And out of anything, if you just have a slight change in your business model, it can make a profit. So I saw a comment here, Vera. I'm an author, editor, type setter, proofreader, and teacher who's been named by COVID. So we'll come back to that. But there's major opportunities for that. I mean, the amount of clients, we build websites and stuff for that. We outsource a lot of that typesetting. David Dennison, that was the ebook guy in one of the previous um, business shows, he outsources a lot of his typesetting and proofreading and stuff to other editors. And their businesses are booming. I mean, even our side. It's so actually a great way of saving costs during this period is outsourcing stuff. Hmm. So there's a lot of people that's outsourcing that sort of stuff. So COVID would actually be a benefit here. Um, but it takes a bit of a change in mindset. And it takes a bit of a change in your business model or your strategy. And you can really take big advantage about that. Um, and then, really, you can maybe add on something just now while I message Mara, but Mara, just an amazing person. So she's an amazing entrepreneur, firstly, <clears throat> and then secondly, just an amazing person. I've known her for a couple of years now, and one of those people that, what's it saying, salt of the earth or whatever, salt for the earth. Yes, had the salt for the earth. And I translated directly to English, salt of the earth. <laughs> I don't know. I, I so, think it's, it's, that's how you say it, eh? Pure person that really grounded good hearted people. So super excited to get Mora in. Um and she's done some really cool workshops that I've been part of. I've been part of another uh, course that we did. So we I think it's like 12 grand or something that you pay for the month or two months, and then you join like we it's a mastermind group. So similar to our mastermind group, just a lot more exclusive, only 10 people, and then it's like 12 grand. But she was part of that as well. And I knew her before then, and through that, our connection just grew mm. that just before COVID. So, uh, 
So let me get her on one. Um, so I've also met Mara before, and she's actually one of those people you feed off that positivity that she sort of brings to the table. So yeah, I think um, you guys will be super excited to to listen to her, listen to her story, listen to her journey, and um, yeah, take what um, is applicable to you, go and apply that. I think that's one of the most important things, and one of the things that we want to achieve is listen to these guys, learn from them and go out there and apply what uh, you want to apply. You don't have to apply everything, but if you just take one thing from the show today, just one thing and apply that, it's something which you've not applied or not uh, implemented before. Wasn't one of the previous um, giants also a type set of Uh Deirdre. Deirdre Jonker is a copywriter. So yeah, she's doing really well. Yeah, she's too busy. Exactly. So, so I had actually had a meeting with her yesterday because she does copy for me. And um, hi there, Mara. Hey, Mara. Hi, guys. How's Welcome going? to the show. Oh, thank Mara, you so much. From our mastermind group and one or two new uh, viewers that joined in as well. So thanks for joining our show, Mara. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Super excited so, to have you here. <laughs> Both in pleasure and in business. So known you in business and uh, we did the mastermind group with uh, Kelly together. Um, and then also socially had a few glasses of wine. Mora, just to get started, will you just give a quick background about who you are and what your business is about? Okay, so I'm Mara, and um, my business is, I'm in the print industry. And I started my um, entrepreneur's journey in 2007 when I worked for a company that went through financial difficulty and they couldn't pay me a salary. So I was doing the work, I wasn't earning any money, and I kind of just said, you know what, if I'm not going to be earning any money, I might as well take the leap do something for myself. And if I still don't earn any money, then that's okay, because that's kind of where, <laughs> where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much um, what I did. And when I started my business, it was very much open to any creative avenue, um, not being sure exactly which way it was going to take me. And from corporate gifting and engaging in um, doing print business I went I can brand my gifts myself make more money than just having someone else brand the gifts that I'm already purchasing and yeah here we are many years later and still going strong no, oh, super super awesome I see Mark says sounds familiar I, I think I've got the same type of journey sometimes you just have to, you just need that nudge to you know, take you to the next level where you, you kind of said, okay, well, it wasn't that bad. Um, but, but you have to take that leap of faith. Uh, how super awesome is that? I think absolutely everybody needs that push. I think if, if we had to wait for someone to tell us that we were ready, we would still be waiting. Exactly. Mara, I know you for a while and I know you've got the printing business. And that's exciting. Not really. <laughs> Um, but you, well, it, makes money. <laughs> yeah. it, it pays the bills, right? It pays the bills. It one pays the bills. What I'm really curious about, and the, the reason why I asked you on the show, is you've built a business out of your passion. And we were just talking about it before. If you, if your work or if your passion becomes your your day job sort of thing, then you never have to work a day in your life. And so many of us get stuck in that where we become whatever our previous occupation was. And you've actually taken the leap of faith again and built a business from your passion. So just tell us a bit about that. Okay, so I think the first the first thing was saying that I can't discard my my income business because that is allowing me the opportunity to grow a passion business. So I think it's important to understand that by taking the leap of growing a business that you're passionate about, it's important to not just discard what, you, what you're doing that's already paying the bills. 
because you need something to afford you the opportunity and the safety net to be able to be passionate about something. Um, I think it's also important to understand that how do you know what your passion business is? And I think a lot very, of people make very important important question. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think people go, uh, what makes me happy? Or what am I good at? And then they try and form their passion business around those things. But it's more than just that. Your passion business is something that flows. It's something that is so natural for you that you don't have to think about it. You don't have to try so hard to make the business work. Because growing your passion business is not about um, having to try so hard to make the business work. It's about the energy that flows naturally and comfortably that helps you grow the business. And once you're in a situation where, where that flow happens, then you know that your passion business is actually a business. Um, I think it's also important to, to visualize and understand that just by waiting for the flow to happen doesn't mean that you have to sit back and wait for the universe to just drop everything in your lap. Um, you have to business take action, right? Well, if you win the lotto, I think the money's going to go a lot quicker than what anybody anticipates. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, I think it's important to know. Sorry, um, I think it's important to know that just because you find something that flows easily in your spare time, when you start moving that into a business, you are still going to have to put the energy, the effort, the work in for it to actually become a business. You're not going to just sit back and go, "Oh well, you know what? I like." I don't know. For me, it's all about energy. My passion yeah. business is I about like, yeah. energy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I right? second that, Eugene. And I'm not so sure if you're going to make money out of that as a passion business. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll <laughs> drink all the profits. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no profits left. Get some, you know, well, you can pay cost price. So at least we can we can cover our costs. So it's like exactly the same business as what we're running now. <laughs> it sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think I would like to just add to that quick as well is the guys that's on our Mossman group just remind me after the show that I just sent you a link is the Ikigai. I don't know if you've done the Ikigai test, Mora. Your what's it? Um, what the world needs? What you love? What you can get paid for? And something else. And it also uh, ties in last week's um, business show of the um, scale of business. So a lot of guys have a passion and they think they can make it a business. But the first hurdle is sell it to 10 people that will actually pay you what you are going to sell it for. But they ask someone, listen, will you take this product? And if it's for free, I mean, everyone will take it. Then it's like, oh, I've got a business. You actually have to sell that product. It's not just about giving it away. You have to be able to sell it at a profit before you can start. Well, the reality is, is that unless you've actually taken money for what your passion is, then it's still just a hobby. Yeah. So I then you agree with you. And you can't um, buy your own product, Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's beer. <laughs> well, well, okay, I can forgive you for that one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Maura, so I'm curious to know, tell us a bit more about the actual business, the passion business, and how you help your clients. Okay, so um, as I've said, one of the reasons why it was so easy to do that flow was because it's all about energy. And passion starts with your body and your person and your mind. All of it is, is energy that creates a, a wavelength around you. So when people engage with each other, it's the different energies that connect with each other that either make you connect or make you hate each other before you even know why. And what happens is when you're in that, in that flow motion, flow can either go for you or it can go against you. So what Mara B is all about is about A, discovering what your core is, what your 
um, natural elemental flow is. Um, and this comes back to uh, air, water, fire, earth. And the moment you understand... That's right, yes. So it's your chakras. It's also, there's a lot of um, energy workshops and um, the Chinese, you know, the Feng Shui and the um, I Ching. There's a lot of um, people who does research and, and businesses based on what your natural energy flow is. So I do numerology. And from numerology, from numerology we can um, take your birth date and I can establish exactly what your elemental flow is as a person. And if you start working with what your elements are, so if you're a person that lacks water energy, you can introduce water energy into your space to enhance that part of, of your energy flow. And that's where, that's where it all started. And from there, it has just grown into um, workshops and manifestation and visualization and using your energy in such a way that you can grow yourself as a person, grow your business, grow your relationships, um, because it's all energy linked. So... Even uh, an example of that from layman's terms. Um, so I've, I've done quite a lot of work with Mara as well. And the thing about that is if you don't know what your flow is, what your core is, you almost get in the state where everything feels like struggles. It feels like you're walking through mud. And then when you discover this stuff, it just feels like everything's just so much easier and you don't have this thing holding you back. And at the end of the day, your business is a reflection of yourself. So if you feel like you're walking in mud the whole time, your business is going to seem like it's walking in mud the whole time. And from an energy perspective, I think it was you, it might have been you that actually explained it to me more, but think about the energy from this side. How other people can perceive your energy. So I walk into a meeting, my energy's down, um, my head space is in the wrong space, and this is my thing from... <sighs> okay. Um, so um, you had to buy my product. What do you think is the reaction going to be? It says, hey, Billy, how's it going? Yes, it's good to see you again, man. Tell me what's happening. How did that hunting trip go? Okay, but uh, before I get on with that, listen, here's my product. What are, what's the different states of energy that you do? And being able to be at a high vibration on a continuous basis, it changes your whole exterior, the way that people react to you. Because they're only reflecting back to you what you are giving out to them. Exactly. So, so, so a very good example of um, where people are stuck is that your body is actually programmed. So it's the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. So your body is already programmed to do whatever it is that your, your normal routine is already on a daily basis. So you already know when you wake up in the morning, your routine is pretty much the same every single morning, um, I would say 90% of the time. You wake up, you check your cell phone, you do whatever it is you need to do, you have your breakfast, you get your coffee on your way to work, you know exactly what your routine is. And it's actually not your mind that is choosing your routine. Your body is already in a state Program. where it automatically does that routine. So for wow. you to be able to change your flow, you actively have to choose that your mind takes over from your body and actually decides that you're going to do things differently. So you have to physically, when you wake up in the morning, go, I'm not going to pick up my phone today or I'm not going to reset the alarm. Or the vibration. Absolutely. So the only way you can actually change what you perceive, what you feel, what you send out is by choosing every moment and by becoming conscious of what is your body programming and what is your mind programming. So be, to be able to change your life and to be able to go from how can I become passionate and how can I recognize what drives my passion is by changing your everyday behavior because that will create better flow in you and that will change the way you see business, the way you see your passion, the way you see what you're currently doing. And I think for a lot of people, it's even recognizing, do I really love what I do? 
am mm -hmm. I enjoying yeah. my job, my life, my kids, my, am I conscious of everything that's around me or am I just going through the programmed motions of what my body is used to doing every day? So I actually saw a um, article or a video or something now in the last week. Really, I think I discussed it with you where people go and sit down and they were measuring the energy in their body and then they put down mm. a, three different buttons in front of them. And before they put the buttons down, they already knew before they could, so they had an EKG on as well and they could measure the brain waves. And even before the guy made a choice, they already knew which button he was going to press. So are you choosing it? Or is your body choosing it? <laughs> <laughs> so they called control that we think we have control over what our actions are and stuff so to get out of that state to change your vibrational state this problem can't be solved on the same level of consciousness as what it was created so to move up to a different level Absolutely. of consciousness you have to change that state and that's where this comes in it's changing that state so you can see from a different perspective and then you come up with different solutions but if you keep seeing it from the same thing what's that Einstein thing Expecting yeah, different if you, results. If you, yeah, if you do the same thing over and over and expect different results, you are just insane. So you end up in this loop in business and in life, where it's this continuous loop, because our body, our actions, our vibration stays at the same state. Now, by changing that, you get a different perspective, and all of a different, all of a sudden, you see a different path. So that is where this thing comes. Crazy. And there's some there's some very basic things that you can actually do to start changing that shift between your body programming and actually re that Joe Dispenza says it the best, refiring and rewiring your mind to make yeah. the decisions. Um and so basically it starts with what is your that's that new earth, huh? Joe Dispenza's new book. Um, I don't know what the new one is. Um, I do a lot of his YouTube. I listen to a lot of his YouTube discussions. Um, well, you maybe so, just so yeah. Yeah. on it. But if you guys want to go check it out, Joe Spencer, he talks a lot about this and now. Uh, exactly this topic. So, um, so but we can actually just post yeah. it in our mastermind group afterwards, really. But it's Joe Dispenza. Nice. It's really, really cool stuff. And um, Eko yeah, totally also about the stuff in the present moment. That's right. So, so well, I think one of the, yes. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so I was just saying that. So, so some of the basic things that you can actually do on a day-to-day -day basis, just for yourself, to start shifting your energy from your body making the decisions to your mind actually choosing. Um, and we all know meditation is one of the top ways to to bring yourself back into your center. Wow. But one of the things that you can do is actually just sit and expand your mind to what's going on around you. Um, for people who battle to meditate, who doesn't understand how meditation works, if you sit mm -hmm. and you just go from my chair to my walls, to my front door, to my garden, what is happening around me? So just take your immediate surroundings and then just expand your consciousness to what is happening in that moment around yourself because that's making you conscious of yourself, where you're at, and, and your surroundings. Um, gratitude. Write down three things, ten things every single day that you're grateful for. It reminds you of what you already have, where a lot of people are in that daily mundane of um, lack, so gratitude is an amazing way to shift your energy. Um, how do you talk? How do you talk about yourself? How do you talk about other people? Um, Self-speak is one of the most damaging or empowering things that anybody can do to shift their energy. Um, and then just ask yourself, what can you change every single day? What is one thing that you can focus on the entire day so keep bringing yourself back to what is that one thing that you can focus on today that you can do to change your old behavior. So choose one thing just for that day. Um, I also think a lot of people tend to think too far in the future. Yeah. Uh, 
I know one. Uh, <laughs> I know another one. Another one. <laughs> Super. That is like one of the, and maybe I want to ask you advice on that. Guys, is it all right if I also ask a question for myself? <laughs> so this is something that's really um, had a negative effect on my life. Is I, I'm continuously living in the future. So if you do the Enneagram test, um, I'm a seven on the Enneagram. So I'm consistently living into the future. And what then happens is I base and even though I'm conscious about this, I mean, I know the stuff, I've read it, I know Equatoria, I know Joe Dispenser, um, what's that, um, Barbara, something as well, which is also put on the WhatsApp group. But even when I'm conscious about this stuff, I still live in the future and I make decisions today based on what I can perceive in the future, especially in relationships. So you think, well, this person does this, that means they do this, that means in two years they're going to do this and then you break up with it or whatever it is. I mean, you might, do you understand the stupidity of the logic? If I can see it and I can't change it <laughs> or I struggle to change it, where you can, you perceive stuff that's going to happen in the future and you make decisions on it today. And then when you get there, it's actually the total opposite. Well, the thing is, is you already denying yourself what could happen in the future because you've already decided what the outcome is going to be without giving anybody else or the other parties involved an opportunity to actually play out their part in it. And it's a defense mechanism. So by doing that, you are preparing yourself for the worst case scenario so that whatever happens, you are emotionally or, and it is mainly emotionally prepared so that you don't feel disappointed. Um, and yeah, and isn't that also the kind of thing where you say is now you're fixated on that, so that's the thing where you hit, you know? So you, you keep on constantly thinking about that, and then you, that's what you hit, that fixation type of thing. You're attracted. So, so the way manifestation and visualization works is that for you to be able to actively and consciously change a habit or behavior, your mind doesn't know the difference between a real emotion and an emotion that you are allowing your body to feel. So you need to feel what you want to manifest or visualize or bring into your life. So it's not just a matter of sitting, oh, I can see myself sitting on the beach, sipping pina coladas, and next month this ticket's going to arrive and the person go, well done, you've won a trip to the Bahamas and you're going to go sip pina coladas. You have to know what it is that you want to bring reality into your space but if you can't feel it, if you can't have the emotional attachment to the outcome, then you cannot attract it into your space. So you are doing exactly that. You are a master of manifestation. The universe gives you 100% exactly what you ask for. So if you are preempting what is going to happen, or if this person does that, they are going to do X, Y, and Z, your emotional body has already attracted that exact lesson. So the chances of that then happening is 90% higher of if you've just lived in the moment and changed mm -hmm. that train of thought in the moment that it happens. Because the moment you think it, you feel it. So if you know what feeling to generate of what it is that you want to achieve, so some people who are emotionally driven manifest better. Now, it's important for me to just make the following statement. Manifestation is not just a positive. Yeah, Everybody thinks, oh, oh, I'm going to manifest money and a new car and a great relationship, and I'm going to manifest this amazing life. But manifestation also works to the opposite. If you are right. focusing on the negative every single day, then you're manifesting yep. more negativity every single day. That yep. actually makes me think where people say, I don't know how many of you guys just type in the comments know anyone similar to that, where we say things like, I already know how people are going to react. Before meeting, they're like, yeah, but I already know what's going to happen. Watch now, we're going to walk in and this is going yes. to happen. This is going to happen. 
So there's a saying that I believe is change your thoughts, change your life. Because your thoughts becomes your words, your words becomes your actions, your actions becomes your beliefs. And your beliefs reinforces your thoughts, which then create this negative loop. So now you say something like, um, I'm very good at reading. I've heard this before. So I'm very good at reading people's reactions and I know how they're going to react. No. You are That's good how you at perceive. people are going to react based on the energy that you project. So walk in there with a total different energy and watch how people react differently. So we already create our own reality. Your body programming has already lived the next day or the next space or the next year because you are allowing your body's program to tell your mind what is going to happen. And if you can catch yourself in that moment to say, I'm catching myself saying, oh, this person's going to, okay, yeah. this person's not going to. Change where I'm at. Bring your focus back into the moment. Where are you standing in that moment? Think of the sounds you hear, the smells you smell. Um, if you can use your senses in that moment to bring you right back to where you are, you are actually removing future thoughts, um, programming that's already taking you into steps forward and then manifesting the negative. The best way to bring yourself into the moment every time is using your senses. What do I see? What do I hear? What do I smell? Okay. What do I feel? Wow. Very super interesting. One more question um, for you, because we're running out of time and I have <laughs> and, um, but we'll definitely go for another glass of wine soon. <laughs> well, as soon as we can. <laughs> well, wow, hopefully so, by Friday, eh? Yeah. That would be good. Sorry, yes, you've got to be uh, um, retreats, we're going to possibly partner in the future as well. So EHQ, Entrepreneur HQ, we are going to do three-day and five-day retreats where you basically get access to a lot of this stuff and where we also take you along this business side. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then if you guys have any questions, please start writing some questions down because I'm going to ask Mara one more question and then she'll answer one or two questions from you guys. So if you have a question, uh, please pop it in the comments. Before we get to the last question, um, remember everyone after this, um, we just want everyone to vote for our top five. So our top, five our top two. So everyone please vote on that. And then um, if there isn't guys that's part of our mastermind group, we've actually changed our mastermind to a subscription model. So it's no longer a once or fee. There's been quite a few people asking us, can they pay us? Um, off on a monthly fee or something like that. So if you aren't part of our mastermind group yet and you want to be able to get access to all of this stuff, um, I'm going to put up an offer on the right-hand side. You will see there's an offer to join now. So we've changed it to nine rand for your first month. Nine rand. I mean, it's That's ridiculous. Awesome. If you guys want to join it, it's nine rand, and thereafter it's 99 rand per month to be part of our mastermind group. So, like I said, we've had quite a few people. You get access to all our courses, uh, digital marketing courses, our Facebook marketing, how to build your e-commerce stores, cash flow. Um, there's Shopify and, and, and there's a whole bunch of courses there. And then the most powerful is being part of our mastermind group. That's where we share all the information we talk about on the business show. That's where you get all the latest tips and tricks from myself and Billy. And that's where you'll get all the information about all our future events and when we are going to do events and collaborations. So Maura, um, the question that I have is if someone starts getting this right, what, what's the effect that they'll have in their business? Okay, so that's okay. So the first thing is to be able to acknowledge that there's change. To be able to get a different result, as we've said previously, there has to be change. There has to be change in your mindset and there has to be change in your actions and your behavior. The moment you, the flow starts coming and the moment you are, are actually experiencing the give back from the universe, doors will just start opening for you. So if you are asking for um, space to run your business from or for the right people to connect with you so that you know what your starting point is, all of a sudden, people that are in the right places will just communicate with you. 
um, people will introduce you to people who are in the right space. Uh, doors will literally just start opening for you. The flow of energy will just make sure that what you need is coming your way. And it's being able to recognize when the universe is providing that for you. And I mean, I, I say the universe just because it's the, the most unilateral way of speaking about energy. Mm. Um, so, uh, but it is, you'll just see. So if someone is doing this right and if they know that they're in flow, things will become easier. It doesn't mean that you're not going to work hard, but things will become easier. Doors will just start opening. Definitely. Just in that state of flow where things just happen and it feels like you're doing nothing and all this stuff is just happening. Mara, it's been the hardest, awesome. The hardest part, <laughs> so, the hardest part is the mindset change. Yes. Yeah, the mindset change. I think that's one of the things we speak about the mind. If, you're, if your mind is right, then you can achieve anything. And I think that's very, very important. Well, I think for most people, lockdown has that has been a very hard part of um, what next, where to, how do I do this? Um, because of the space that you're in, the, just the global depression. So if you can change your mindset, you're halfway there. Yeah, super. Mara, super, super Thanks. awesome. It was really good seeing you again. Um, Absolutely. It's been such Thanks. a privilege you on the show thanks for joining us yeah thanks thank you so much and you have to do the ehq fist bump before you go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's a cheers, you, oh eugene so we're on to the next last bit of the show was that cool everyone just comment there in the comments box how awesome was that really hey, yes, yes 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 and um We'll share contact details of Mora on the group as well. I'll just confirm with her afterwards if um, we can share it, and then we'll share it on our Mastermind group. If you're not part of our Mastermind group, join now for join nine now. Months. I mean, Come on, seriously. And then um, we are getting into the thing. So we've got a poll up. We are going to put a poll on the right-hand side. Don't vote yet, because we're first going to play a video. Yet, please. <laughs> So you'll see there's a poll, number one, Annika, Betty, Reno, Sonia, Mike. So that's our five finalists. We are going to play a video on, um, Betty, did you just vote for yourself? Who we'll voted for Betty? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, George. Um, mm. So guys, it's already part of our mastermind group on here, go and join. So yes, the video for the entries. It's a four minute video. So stick around and then afterwards vote for who do you think? Um, don't vote people, don't vote. Don't vote yet for the video. Oh, cook. Okay. So for, for a second or two, four minute video. So a quick video and then vote for us. Hi guys. My name is Annika and I'm one of the owners of Silvercore. We're a specialized engineering contractor where our main focus is to find Hi guys, solutions for our clients. Firstly, I would like to thank Billy and Eugene for this opportunity. My name is Annika and I'm one of the owners of Silvercore. We're a specialized so engineering our contractor like our where our main focus is to find solutions for our clients Africa. with regards to this concrete demolition, modification and rehabilitation. And grow the business Over the next more. 12 months, we would like we're to expand our more. business more into There's Africa and get a bigger footprint in Africa. Africa. I believe this program will and help us to achieve that and to be able to employ business. more people and much. grow the business even more. We're a very niche mall. Hi guys. And there's my not name a lot of people Betty, in South Africa the name of that does what we do. Is Blue River Print. And I believe we this will help us to achieve this. Based Thank in you very much. Book. And despite the lockdown, business has been really Hi guys, good my name is Betty and the name of our company is Blue River Drilling. We are a borehole drilling company based in Johannesburg. Echoing. Sounds fun. Maybe, Vili, just mute your mic and let's see if that makes a difference. Um, I'm going to just switch off. My Our machine was designed and manufactured by us and makes use of some really innovative technology. We would like to, in the next 12 months, 
uh, set up a manufacturing uh, enterprise and then export our machine into the rest of Africa and beyond. I'm really excited about the opportunity to win this competition as I've also ventured into life coaching and would love to learn some tricks of the trade. Many thanks to Vili and to Eugene for this opportunity. We do all business related services. Our focus on independent um, CFO services. Where do we want to be in 12 bands? Well, we would like to have an effect on as many lives as possible um, in order to improve lives. And yeah, why, why do we want to win is I believe that by winning, we'll be in a position of authority to challenge others to reach their life goals. Thanks. Cheers. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shonga Lola Shakers. Let's get ringing. Shonga at Lola Shonga Lola Shakers, we focus on early education for kids between six months and five years. We use music and movement classes to teach them the basic concepts that they need to know, spatial awareness, vocabulary, uh, basic maths, all those things. So our five-year goal is to get us franchised, get online, to reach kids nationally and internationally. But for this first year, we need to get online, we need to get exposure, we need to get systems that's automated so we can get this done, so we can focus on the creativity and expanding the plan into the next five years. So I'm very excited to be part of this whole competition because this will help streamline, focus, and get us to our goals much quicker. Hi, this is Mike from Ergo Back Care Innovations in Cape Town. I've been in business now for 29 years on my own, and I've been mainly in corporate office furniture and auditorium seating. Ergo was started 11 years ago when I found a need for good ergonomic seating in offices. Ergonomic seating improves productivity and reduces back problems. Everything that I sell is manufactured by me other than the goods we import from Denmark and from China. In the next 12 months, we aim to get into the home market in through the whole of South Africa because a lot of people are working from home and sitting on dining room chairs. Every single chair we make is custom built and we also look after your sleeping and how you sit in your car. We plan also in the next 12 months to export uh, through to the UK, Australia and New Zealand. Look forward to this and thank you, Woody and Eugene, for everything you've done for us. All the best, guys. Hi guys, firstly I would like to thank Willie and Eugene for this opportunity. In regards to concrete demolition, modification and rehabilitation, Eugene for this opportunity. My name is Annika and I'm one of the owners of Silvercore. We're a specialized engineering contractor where our main focus is to find solutions for our clients with regards to concrete demolition, modification and rehabilitation. Over the next 12 months, we would like to expand our business more into Africa and get a bigger footprint in Africa. I believe this program will help us to achieve that and to be able to employ more people and grow the business even more. We are very niche mark and there's not a lot of people in South Africa that does what we do. And I believe this will help us to achieve this. Thank you very much. Hi guys, my name is Betty and the name of our company is Blue River Drilling. We are borehole drilling. Cool, can you guys hear us again? Really, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Well, we you are guys. back. You can go and vote. Go to the poll on the right hand side. Um, we'll see the poll. Or left, depending which side of your screen. Um, <laughs> great vote, pop in there what your votes are, and then we'll give it two minutes. Otherwise, than that, I hope you guys enjoyed our show. Um, if you're not yeah. part of our 
find group, join. And then thanks again for all the sponsors. If you guys want to get involved in the sponsors or you want us to review your products, um, let us know so we can get that through. Um, we'll give yeah, you seconds for everyone to vote and then we'll take it on. Before we announce the winner, um, I just want to um, maybe give everyone a, 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 a tip as to how they can uh, implement what uh, Mara has mentioned. So one thing while she was talking, she's meditating, sit and expand yourself, uh, show some gratitude. Um, how do you speak to yourself? And um, uh, one thing that you can change on a daily basis. Something which I did, and I didn't even knew that I did that, was I actually took a journal. And as part of my journal, when I got up in the mornings, the first thing I wrote down there is, what am I grateful for? Then the next thing I did was, I'm going to meditate now. And I, that's how I kind of got myself. I don't have the exact rhythm that she's got, but I mean, that is a, that's a very nice tool, which I used to plan, which I used to do mind dumps and, you know, kind of implement. So just the yeah the um yeah, the benefits of having yeah. yep meditation daily affirmation stuff I do it every single day yeah I almost and, like I will fall apart if I don't do that <laughs> <laughs> and another no, thing is the difference in the days that I do do it versus the days that I don't exactly I can see a clear 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 difference and you know I've started writing down these self words. And she said self-speak, self-worth, self-respect, um, uh, you know, all those self-words. You know, if you can understand, if, if, if you realize and if you are conscious that everything starts with yourself, um, you know, I can't explain to you guys what difference that actually made in my life. Just the way our things started happening and, you know, but yeah, just something, some food for thought before we end the day. No, they can't be. We need one more vote. <laughs> Annika and Mike start for second place, both on 22%. We can only have two. Can only have two. Someone vote. Um, and then, what else was there? There was another announcement that I wanted to make. I think that's it. Except for, um, yeah, I think that's it. Except for COVID, it needs to finish so we can do our um, getaway, get, do our retreat. Otherwise, than that thing, guys. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being part of part of the show. Um, we really need one more vote. <laughs> Someone vote. One, two, three, tied for second. Oh. One more vote. Going once, going twice. Okay, so we've got three finalists. <laughs> Myself oh, and Billy will be with you guys over the next week or two. Um, hopefully before the next business show. So Sonia, Mike, and Annika. And we'll have a interview with you and then we'll pick one. Don't know if we're gonna draw straws or pick it out of that or make a choice, we'll see. <laughs> we kind of impulsive, sure. we'll probably do it the day before the show quickly, <laughs> or an hour before the show. <laughs> guys, thanks for cool, going. Guys, thank you very much for everything. Thanks for joining. There we and, uh, Eugene, okay. Eugene, we've actually oh. got uh, number Daddy. one and number two. Oh, sorry, Annika. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but Annika, they already, uh, Annika is one of my coaching clients as well. Super cool business. Maybe we'll be in any case, Billy. Um, really cool yeah. business that they have, and it's the potential and scalability in that business is insane. Um, Really, really cool. But Annika, your coaching okay. session tomorrow again. So I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Enjoy the show. Thanks for joining. And without you, this show can't happen. So see you next week. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Keep well. Bye.